welcome to another training session uh, in Dreamweaver. Last time we looked at CSS, the cascading style sheets, so that we could change the colors of the page and the text on the page. This one's going to be relatively simple, putting a copyright symbol into and other symbols into Dreamweaver uh, for our footer here. So you see where it says content for ID footer goes here? Well, we just want to put copyright, uh, put the year maybe, and the name of your company. You can put whatever name you want. I'm going to put my name in. So what I want you to do is highlight the text where it says content for ID goes here and press backspace to delete it. Don't click anywhere else. It looks like the text box has disappeared, but it's still there. It's just very, very, very small. So what we're going to do to put in a um, copyright symbol, click on insert from the top. We're going to go down to and hover on HTML. Uh, we're then going to go across and down to character, and then we're going to go across and up to copyright. Of course, you can't see all of that there, but I'll leave this here so you can see it. So insert HTML character uh, copyright. Give that a click, and we can see our copyright symbol is there. So it's ready for us to type uh, copyrights. I'm going to put a little dash in S D C Design Limited. That's yeah, good. Uh, a couple of other things we're going to do is the gap between um, the text and the box is just not so good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the footer style to create some gap around the edge, which is something called padding. So I want to make sure is it's the footer. Now. If you've designed the website from scratch, you might be able to remember it. But uh, if you can't, then if you click roughly where your footer is, use the quick tag selector to select your footer. There we go. And then you can see, OK, that's the footer there. So you know that you can change this footer over here. So we're going to add some spacing uh, around the edge here. So I'm just going to click on the uh, button under properties for layouts and just look down and you should come across padding. There we go. So here's the padding one there. So I'm just going to click in the top box. I'm just going to click in this box down, I'm sorry, this box down here. And you notice a little chain link appears. This doesn't occur in all Dreamweavers. Uh, this is to see 2015. But uh, the chain link, if you ever see it, allows you to, when you enter a value in one of them, so I'll enter 10 pixels into one. When I press enter, it adds 10 pixels around all of them. Uh, if I just then look, if you look at basically the uh, the box here, the footer div, you can see that there's 10 pixels of padding. It just brings the text away from the edge of the container, the div in this case, the footer div. That's good. So notice now we've changed text on the page, which is why we've got an asterisk next to index.html. And we've changed the style sheet as well. So that's why we've got an asterisk next to that. So file, save all to save all of them. And then if you want to preview in the browser, you're most welcome.